continue to, uh, to do good start. And uh, uh, at the time, the start was a big part of the race. So we had uh, no traction control, no system to help us, and uh, quite a lot of power, light cars. So I concentrate just on the uh, on, on start, and um, uh, you had to do everything by yourself. So the slip of the, the, the rear wheels, the, uh, the control of the throttle, the, the timing to, to go from first to second gear, everything was, uh, has to be perfect. And this start was perfect. The first step was just to, to go from first to second gear uh, without a lot of spin. And then uh, moving uh, around the cars if I had to, to, to overtake. And at one stage I had to say, okay, it's enough, you know. And when I, uh, I hit the, the brake pedal, I remember I was not uh, leading, but I felt this uh, door open and uh, they said, okay, let's go. So I just pressed uh, the brakes and I uh, overtook uh, um, Gerhardt, I think, and uh, I, 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 I lead the race. Everyone stationary, the green flag waving at the back, the red light on, the green light on, and away they went with Alain Prost starting much better. But Gerhard Berger making a superb start and coming down the inside of Alain Prost as they went down into the first chicane. So Prost losing out in spite of that better start and Jean Lazy once again getting the better of Nigel Mansell to slot into fourth place. Further back, a lively traffic jam, but they all get through safely. And accelerating down through the Curve Grande once again, Alain Prost had Jean Lacy right behind him. A much better start from Alain Prost, but the result was the same because as they came into the, sec the second chicane, Alacy got through and moved up into third place. For the second race running, with Nigel Mansell second quickest and the McLaren of Ayrton Senna third. As they move away, it's Mansell who makes the best start. This is the view from Alain Prost's Ferrari, well down the grid. But at the front, it's Nigel Mansell moving alongside and ahead of his Williams Renault teammate. Mansell takes the lead, and on the outside, through goes a lazy into second place in his Ferrari, and third is Ayrton Senna, both of them passing Riccardo Patrese. Alain Prost loses a lot of places on the first lap. So he's well down in the traffic, but his teammate Jean Alesi and the other Ferrari is now up into second place ahead of Ayrton Senna and just behind Nigel Mansell. Gerhard Berger claiming pole for McLaren. Nigel Mansell alongside him on the front row for Williams. The best start made by the two McLarens. Berger ahead of the championship leader Ayrton Senna. Mansell having to settle for third place by the first corner with Michael Schumacher running along in fourth. Behind them came Jean Alesi, who'd made a desperate, swerving start on the grid. And the rest of the field is all picking... Nigel Mansell claiming the 18th pole position of his career. Alongside him on the front row, the McLaren of Ayrton Senna. On row two, McLaren Gerhard Berger, Williams Ricardo Patrese. There's the red light, there's the green. Good start by Mansell, even better by Patrese from row two, bursting between the two McLarens and right onto the tail of his teammate Nigel Mansell. Berger slipping back, already been taken by the Ferrari of Jean Alesi and the Benetton of Michael Schumacher going past Berger. So the second McLaren slipping well back down the order in just the first few metres of the 19. There's the red. And Schumacher creeping forward, Alesi with a brilliant start from uh, back on row four and forcing his way, Patrese coming through to try and thread his way through between Mansell and Schumacher. Patrese makes it past Schumacher, holds off Alesi, and Alesi and Schumacher doing battle as they set off from the line. It's Mansell at the head of the field, Patrese second, Alesi twitching his way into third with Schumacher in fourth, and Schumacher and Brundle and Senna and Schumacher, Patrese. There's the green, and a Mansell with a good start, using that Williams traction control. A Lacey coming through from row three. The Benetton's showing up early as well, but one of the McLarens has been left on the grid. It's Gerhard Berger. Gerhard Berger in trouble. He won't even get started in this Spa Grand Prix. He's actually removed his steering wheel from that uh, McLaren. It's just perched on the top there, and that's going to be difficult to manoeuvre. 
drivers waiting for the red, then the green light. Mansell away from the line quicker than Senna. Lacey making up ground, but pushed out by Gerhardt. Berger over the kerbs. Berger loses a couple of places. Schumacher slots into fourth place behind Patrese, followed by Alessi with a whole gaggle of cars in trouble in the middle. Gruyard Tyrrell, Pierre Luigi Martinez, Dallara in a spin, and Johnny Herbert's Lotus also with the front nose. Now, wait for the red light to turn to green, and the 1993 Canadian Grand Prix will be underway. There's the green. Good start by the Ferraris. Excellent start by Damon Hill. Poor beginning by Michael Schumacher. And good work by Ayrton Senna shooting up the inside. So it's Hill into first place. Prost into second. Then comes Gerhard Berger, Jean Alesi, Ricardo Patrese with Ayrton Senna right alongside him. So the McLaren. The red lights in the middle will turn to green. And away they go. Hill is slowly away. Prost makes a good start. So too does Alesi and Senna. And Schumacher follows the leading group. It's Prost down into the first corner in the lead. Alesi in second place. Hill battling with Senna for third. And Senna, having collided with Hill, skates off onto the grass. The two Jordans are in trouble. So too JJ Leto, Sauber and the, foot the hammer down to the first corner. Away they go, it's a good start by Hakkinen, good start by Senna and by Alesi. Prost going well down to the first corner, holding the inside line. Hakkinen attempting to block him out, but it's Alesi who sweeps around the outside. Did Alesi do enough to get in front? He did. Alesi ahead of Hakkinen with Senna in third place, Prost in fourth. Brilliant start by Jean Alesi. Hakkinen had that gap where Hill should have been in front of him didn't take full advantage, was very concerned about Prost to his right and in attempting to block Prost's run down to the first corner left the gap free for Alesi to accelerate away all the way round the outside and it's Alesi in the Ferrari who... 26 cars making up the formation for the first Grand Prix of 1994 Ayrton Senna and Michael Schumacher on the front row but the best start of the leading quartet made by Jean Alesi, forcing himself into second place ahead of Michael Schumacher with Damon Hill pressing hard for third place. Ayrton Senna on his debut for Williams Renault, skating away out front as Mika Hakkinen for McLaren came up. Michael Schumacher, the championship leader with four wins out of four. The lights turn to green and Schumacher quickly away from the line. Hill was immediately under challenge from Alesi and from Hakkinen, but held on to second place as Schumacher was first to dive into the corner. Schumacher, championship leader in the Benetton, followed by Hill with Hakkinen in the McLaren at fifth and Philippe Adams in last place, making his debut on his home circuit. Barrichello led away from the green light. The charge from Michael Schumacher, but Barrichello held the line into the first corner. Schumacher settled for second place, and Jean Alesi, up from the third row, was in third the Saturday ball. downpour. From the green light, Hill made a decent start. Schumacher, not so good, but Alesi was absolutely outstanding. Coming right up from sixth on the grid, to second by the first corner at Cops as Schumacher pulled across to try and close down the challenge. It's about to start now. Hakkinen tries to get past Berger who blocks it but Alesi takes the lead and Johnny Herbert moves ahead of Gerhard Berger. So it's Alesi, Herbert, Gerhard Berger, Vicar Hakkinen in fourth place and praise be they are all round La Source first. Now into a rouge and Herbert is coming right up alongside a lady who holds the lead. Germany and Badawa from 40. At the start on the curving grid, Damon Hill failed to get away effectively and was taken by his teammate Villeneuve. A Lacey made a good break from row three and was challenging for the lead into the first corner, Cops, with Hakkinen slotting into third place and Schumacher also going past Hill for fourth. So the race order in the very early stages, Villeneuve leading. Once the red lights were off at Hockenheim, but he didn't make the best of starts. Berger 
Alongside him on the front row took full advantage. Schumacher tried to shadow Hakkinen and that left the way through for Alesi and Coulthard. So round the first bend, the Nord curve, it was in 93. Schumacher won in 1994 though, starting from pole position and it was Schumacher that made the best start. Hill delayed on the dusty part of the track and was taken by Villeneuve and then by Alesi going into the first corner. So Hill dropping from second to fourth in the very early stage of the race. Schumacher, Hill and Villeneuve on the front row of the grid with Schumacher immediately behind them. Hakkinen starting two from row two. Coulthard and Alesi on row three. Hill got a better start than in recent times but it was a Lacey who was the best of the lot charging round first of all down the inside and then round the outside of the two Williams Renaults to lead into the first chicane a Lacey for Benetton up from row three Villeneuve cut the corner at the chicane to hold on to third place but Hackenham was putting in a real charge too and Hill when the lights went out it was Hill who made the better start of the two Williams men and there was an impressive beginning too from Alesi. Alesi charging down the inside but covered by Hill. Villeneuve in third place until the first corner when he suddenly found that Schumacher was sweeping around the outside of him. Two McLarens in the middle of the field. The pole position man Michael Schumacher back to Katayama. Once the race was underway, there was an excellent start from Michael Schumacher. Good one too from Villeneuve, but poor starts for both Heinz Harold Frentzen and for Rubens Barrichello. And it was Fissi Keller followed by Alesi, then by Coulthard, who took third, fourth and fifth places. Irvine spun out at the second corner of back to Denis. The usual starting procedure when the lights were out Another good start from the McLarens. Hakkinen leading the way down to the first corner, followed by Coulthard with Heinz Harald Frentzen in third place. Michael Schumacher made a poor start and dropped back down the order, passed by Eddie Irvine, the other Ferrari, and by Alexander Wurtz in the Benetton. It was Melbourne all over again, with the McLarens completely dominant. Magnussen. On a cool cloudy day, it was Coulthard making the best start down to the first corner. The two Ferraris failed to get away properly, and it was the two McLarens, first and second, as they swept into that first right-hander. Michael Schumacher at third, Irvine coming under pressure from the two Williams. With the two Benetton drivers, Ralph Schumacher would have been tenth, Panis 15th. From the start, Hakkinen away quickly from the line and into the corner first ahead of Michael Schumacher. Villeneuve dropped back behind Coulthard and Alesi and Irvine, very slow to start, was 10th going into that first corner. At the start, Michael Schumacher failed to get away quickly from the line and was soon overtaken by Mika Hakkinen, who just elbowed Jacques Villeneuve aside. David Coulthard followed him through into second place. Michael Schumacher dropped back to fifth. For the Retifilio chicane, it was Hakkinen first, Coulthard second, Irvine third. Heinz Harald Frentzen took the shortcut, as did two other cars. The McLarens looking to get away from the rest of the pack. 